This is now I'm disturbed. Are you gonna try to clone me? Are you guys biochemists? She's a biochemist. Dude! She said actually yes in a way that makes me believe her. Are you actually a biochemist? I, I invented a new way of playing guitar. Yourself. I'm Callie. You got your degree in biochemistry? In 2007 at UW. Uh, right now I'm working as an environmental chemist. Nice. She's now working as an environmental chemist. We're doing I got my biochem biochem degree in, in uh, 2002, and now I'm a professional video blogger. <laughs> But, you know, there's still time. <laughs> if you want to take that path. Probably it would be better for the world if you stuck with what you were doing now. So that, if that's cool with you. Okay. Thanks for talking. <laughs> See you right now. Because I've been spending a lot of time between songs, I have absolutely no idea. I don't need to know what time it is, I need to know how long I've been standing here. But I've been about 15 minutes? Awesome. I've got so much more time, guys. I don't even play music. We should do a, an experiment. Can we have... I, I'm going to ask a favor of two people in the front. I want you and you to scream as loud as you can at the same time. As high pitched as possible. Just shh, everybody else. Two, three. Did everybody hear the thing where it like goes zzzz? The B frequency. What is that? It's called the It's the B frequency. You guys probably didn't hear that back there, but if you get two of your friends to scream high pitched, as loud as they can, this noise happens where it goes zzzz. And you're like, that's not a noise that happened. That's a noise that happened in my head. And I only, I've only noticed this recently because, you know, it's been a, it, you know, the first 20 few years. Wait, we have an answer. We have an answer. I was saying that the first, you know, 20 something years of my life, I didn't have lots of girls screaming at me. Thank you. But now I do. We have an answer. This man has an answer. Uh, so if we're talking about the uh, waves that they're creating at a very high pitch, they're slightly off. And so because of that, you have these waves that are somewhat parallel but somewhat not, so they're kind of clashing together, and that's why you're getting that wah wah wah. Yeah, like a, like a popping noise instead of like a sound noise. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone, science is the real star of the show. With that in mind, and with my continual deviation from my set list, this song is about particle physics. This is a very short cable. I'm going back over here. Sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, a quark is a fundamental constituent of matter. Observed in 1968 through deep elastic scatter, and we found that protons aren't as simple as we thought. We thought they were solid particles, but they are not. Protons, in fact, are made up of three separate pieces. It just gets more confusing as our knowledge increases. And that is what a quark is. It's a piece of a proton. And they also make up other things, including the neutron. No, up, down, straight, chart, top, bottom. If you don't know what a quark is, it don't matter. You still got them. And the leptons and bosons and the somethings of this, they make up everything that we can see and that we know exists. I'm always very proud of the people who sing along with that. Uh, for so many different reasons, too. Maybe I'm mostly proud of myself. As I may have mentioned previously, this is about me. Uh, things made up of quarks, including protons and neutrons, are composite particles that physicists call hadrons. Many types of hadrons are theoretically described, but most exist for only very brief amounts of time. Quarks have electric charge, color charge, mass, and spin. And having color charge means they exist solely inside of other kinds of particles that cannot exist alone, which have ever been studied on their own. No, oh, up, down, strange charm, top, bottom. You don't know what a quark is, it don't matter, you still got them. And with leptons and bosons and the somethings of this, they make up everything that we can see and that we know exists. Well, these tiny bits of matter are part of almost everything, and there is no unified theory to make it less confusing. But the fact that we've identified that they exist at all is so freaking remarkable that I just sit in awe. Oh, oh. Top bottom, if you don't know what a quark is,
work is it don't matter you still got a man with left on and those on set but something's up they make up everything that we can see and that we know exists Strange charm, top bottom. If you don't know what I work, is it don't matter. You still got 'em. And with the guns and those guns and those things to make up everything that we can see, and now we know it. Just to make up everything that we can see, and now we know it. Just to make up everything that we can see, and now we know it. Just to make up everything that we can see, and now we know it. Just to make up everything that we can see, and now we know it. Just to make up everything that we can see, and now we know it. Just to make up everything that we can see, and now we know it. Just to make up everything that we can see, and now we know it exists.